What's up, everybody? So I get asked a lot how I determine an intense move and what I'm looking for when I get into a trade. And for anybody that follows me, you know that I look for previous resistance and I look for extensions through that previous resistance. You could even say there's one there at 850. But how do I use these indicators of VWAP and the nine on my chart? And for anyone that has asked in the past, they'll hear me tell them that when an intense move happens, assuming it was fast, this 862 and 816, this is the nine, this is VWAP down here, um, the white line is VWAP, these will be closer together, which means the last nine bars, because this is the nine EMA, and yes, we're on the two minute, so if you switch over to the one or five, it'll be different, obviously. But for me, this is about the sweet spot. So when these are close together, that means that the move getting away from both of these lines at the same time means that it happened fast, right? Because if the nine hasn't had time to catch up to it, that would mean that there's been a length of time that this has not caught up to it, right? So that means the move was fast. However, if this line is catching up to it, like you see here in this example on AVRO, that means that it's a little bit of a slower trade. It could be a grindy type trade. And it means the odds of getting that really good pullback is not likely to happen. So if we draw our previous resistance line here and we go to our FIB and find, because you guys know I always look for about half the move, and we go up to high of day here around 890, and we hit it. So 50% is all the way down here at 859. You can see it's struggling to even get down to 870. So sure, yeah, we did get a little bit of a pullback here. Um, however, the odds, if you can see, the nine is already above that 50% line. If this is a stronger stock and it tends to grind a little bit higher, the odds are it's going to try to bounce off of these key areas, uh, like the nine EMA and whatnot. So could it work still? Yeah, obviously it could. Um, we don't know exactly what it's going to do, but the probability, the higher probability of the play working out when the move is not intense is less likely. So I just wanted to kind of jump in here and give you an example. I know people ask me a lot uh, what I use to determine how I get into a trade. And this is one of the key factors that I do use. I look for an extension through previous resistance and I look for the move to be fast. And sometimes when I'm flipping through charts, it's hard to tell. But if we get rid of all these lines and I have nothing but the line, uh, the EMAs up, I can quickly tell if it's more of a grinder or if it's an actual fast move, because these two will be a lot closer together if it's an intent, a really intense move, but further apart if it's slow and grindy. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.